be here from Garden Back to a new Phineas and Ferb episode review. And if you need the last one, go and check it out. And we are back with another episode. And it is the back in time. It's about time where they go back in time to the prehistoric. And they're at the museum. And Phineas and Ferb see this gadgets through the ages exhibit where they say this tour talking about the time of saying, which they get the idea to fix the time of saying. And apparently, Major Monogram is frozen, so Carl has to translate for him about Doofenshmirtz. And Candace is wondering what they're doing. And, yeah, F Harry gets over to Doofenshmirtz and realized that he was fighting somebody. And, yeah, Perry gets replaced by the Agent Panda. And, of course, there's evidence even more. And a policeman, a security guard, stops Candace saying, no yelling at the museum. And, yeah, she gets kicked out. And this guy actually helps her get back in by yelling. And, yeah, she gets back in and sees Jeremy, which, yeah, she keeps getting teleported as well. And each time, just getting teleported out and in and starting to freak Jeremy out. And the policeman is like, aren't you a little young? And he's like, uh, he's happy that they're actually interested in these kind of types of history. And so is um, the part that they need. And he said that he'll help them out. And yeah, Doofenshmirtz can explain about all this. And yeah, it's just this freezing nader. So you actually have to feel bad for Perry because him getting replaced. And... <laughs> Yeah, Candace pops back up to the policeman again, and he takes the gadget, or the thing, and teleports, and yeah, he gives it to Phineas and Ferb. And then we get the sad song with Perry just having flashbacks of Doofenshmirtz and him, which is very sad. And you had to feel bad for Perry, right? And Candace is just telling her mom to come and see Phineas and Ferb, which, yeah, they get teleported into the prehistoric era, and a dinosaur crosses the time of scene, and now they're trapped, and as they start running, Candace falls, and their dad sees Candace in there, but when Phineas and Ferb run into it, their mom thinks that he's crazy, and, like, that's not very nice when he says that it just looks like Candace. And yeah, they manage to escape, and they signal for help to Isabella and the Fireside Girls, which they decide to build a time of scene. And yeah, Doofenshmirtz fighting pan the panda secret agent says that, or destroys a picture, which he says that he remembers when this picture was first taken, and when he figured out that he had a nemesis and a yet another catchy song too. Which, again, a lot of catchy songs in this show that I just love. And, yeah, he's just realizing that he's just destroying his adventure and making him feel bad, feel hurt when he was talking about his feelings. And, yeah, the first are girls redoing the time of scene and realizing that Phineas misspelled time and did tie. And, yeah, you know, we see this doctor feel better. So, where they're expressing their feelings and, yep. Agent Panda, I to say, is in the house, too. And Candace is just so sad of of all the things she's not going to be able to do and see Jeremy again. And the dinosaur is back, of course, but they managed to come back and rescue them, but apparently it needs to be plugged in, which, yeah, Candace is just upset of why this needs to be plugged in, which, yeah, she gets electrocuted and rescues them. And the T-Rex ends up there and chasing Candace. And Doofenshmirtz apologizes and makes it up to Perry. But he traps them as well and all the secret agents to try to, to freeze them so can use them as statues. And Candace is just running while continuing running while trying to stop her parents from mom and dad from going into the exhibit and... We see that David Smurfs gets knocked out and is blessed the laser. And 
freezes the dinosaur and destroys the remote and all of the agents just baiting up their nemesis and yeah they're all heading back home and jeremy tells candace that he loves this one of the exhibit and she just blesses it while they're walking away but yeah a really good episode hopefully you enjoyed it like my subscribe to the channel make sure you're on if you get some turn on screen anything new like to know what you think see you next one